It's 7.08 a.m. Stella's on top of the cat tower in my room and I looked over at her. She stood straight up and she was staring toward this feeder. And I was like, what is she looking at? And look, it's the tabby cat. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's the tabby cat that looks like Stella. And the cat is eating some dry food out of the automatic feeder. I wonder if the tabby cat has been coming around for breakfast every day. I wonder if the tabby cat is staying in one of the shelters. I don't know. Um, I just put the security camera back outside on the feeders. For some reason it wasn't out there. I guess I brought it in to charge it a while ago and then I forgot to put it back out. So it's been back out. I can review the footage and I'm going to take a look at the other footage. Um, the camera that's facing the shelters and let's see if anything is caught there. But this is such a little cat. I don't even think it's fully grown. I hope it has food. Still is very concerned about it. It is morning mail time. Good morning, Stella. And we are going to open some packages today, starting with the biggest. Stella's scratching on a scratch and roll. Okay, Stella, you gonna help? You gonna help, Stella? You gonna lay down? Okay, you sit there. You sit there, we open this, okay? You sit there, and we open this box. Whoops. Watch out, Stella. Watch out. Whoops. What'd we get, Stella? What'd you get, Stella? Stella. Stella, look. Look what you got, Stella. Look. This says, enjoy your gift from Christine Lee. Thank you so much, Christine Lee. That's so nice of you to send the cats a present. The cats got a bag of crunchies. This is the Blue Wilderness Chicken Flavored Crunchies. They love these crunchies. Stella's already walking around. She can't wait to eat. And they thank you so much for taking care of them. And uh, these crunchies are great because this is what I put in the outside feeder for Hydrox, Ditto, and the other cats. And this is also what the inside cats get as a treat. And there's another bag of crunchies. These are the uh, Nature's Variety Instinct Original Crunchies. And this is the chicken flavor. And the cats love these also. I think by mixing up the crunchies that they eat, like sometimes having Instinct, sometimes having Blue Wilderness, uh, they get a wider variety of nutrition because the ingredients are slightly different. 
this says thank you so much for the Christmas card it made my day I hope you grandma Stella Simba boo and splash are having a wonderful Christmas and New Year hope everyone will enjoy their gifts from Christine Lee thank you so much Christine and look at this boo's ready boo says give me some crunchies okay we have another box here let's open this one let's see what the cat's got What'd you get, Boo? Ooh, look at this, Boo. Look what you got, Boo. Boo, that's like your favorite. The cat's got a Tiki Cat variety pack. This says it has six flavors and 12 cans. And this is the King Cam Grill. And it says it's high protein, zero carbs, whole food. And let's see what it says on the back. It says cats are carnivores by nature. Tiki Cat Grill offers a selection of high moisture, protein rich formulas that closely mimic a natural prey diet. That's awesome. And let's see what flavors are in here. We have ahi tuna, tuna in crab surimi consomme, sardine cutlets, mackerel and sardines in calamari consomme hello boo sardine cutlets in lobster consomme and ahi tuna with crab in tuna consomme this is awesome because they are all fishy foods and the cats get fishy foods once a week um, actually today is their day to get um, some fishy food uh, I normally give it to them like on Fridays, but I forgot yesterday. So today they're going to get some and yeah, maybe I'll try um, one of the flavors that the cats have not had. So the cats have had the Tiki Cat sardine cutlets and I believe they've also had the sardine cutlets in lobster consomme. They might have had uh, the mackerel and sardines in calamari consomme. I'm not sure if they did or not. But I don't think they've had any of the tuna varieties, so they might have that today for breakfast. And this says, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. Thank you so much, Janet, for sending this food to the cats. I know they are going to love all of this. We are going to open one more package today, and this one is from Zoa. Stella, what did you get from Zoa? What did Zoa send you? Let's see what the cat's got. Oh, look. Look at this. Look at the wrapping paper. Look at all of the cats on the wrapping paper. That's so cute. They're wearing hats and look at all the candy around them. It's wrapped very, very well. Zoa, if you wrap this, you're an expert wrapper. Expert. It's wrapped so nicely, I almost don't even wanna open it. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 it's Stella's favorite red truck. Stella. Okay. Let's open it, Stella. What'd you get, Stella? Ooh, wow, look at this, Stella. Look at all of this. Okay, you're just gonna sit there. Okay, Stella's gonna sit there and I have to go replace the battery on. Oh, 
Okay, Stella's going to sit there and I have to go put a new battery in the camera. I will be right back. Okay. All right, I'm back. This says Lucky Feral. So we'll smell it. You want to eat it? Look how cute. Look how cute. Uh-oh. Boo just showed up and Stella got mad. Here's Boo. What you doing, Boo? Look how festive this is with the red and the green. What are you doing, Boo? You gonna lay down? Look, there's plenty of room. Stella, you can lay here. Stella, lay here. Boo, lay here. Lay down. You gonna walk on it? Okay. You wanna lay on the red because you like red? Okay. This says something for you at Christmas. Okay, Stella, you lay there. Ooh, look at that. It's a Dollar Tree gift card. A little pocket money. That's so cute. And look, Stella, look, it's a red truck like you like. Merry Christmas from Zoa and Marty. Thank you so much, Zoa and Marty, for that awesome gift card. This says, remove me. This is cute. Is this an angel? Is that what this is? Oh my gosh, I think it's, it's a dish towel. It's a dish towel and a pot holder. And I believe that's like a washcloth. Look how cute. Okay, it says remove me. Oh yeah, look, look. Look, Sally, isn't that pretty? It's an angel, look at that. Can you guys see? Can you guys see that it's an angel? Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is, Stella. That is adorable. Thank you so much, Zoa. These are really pretty too with the uh, with the poinsettias and the sparkly gold on them. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Zoa. Okay, Stella. What's in here? Look at these. It's like a little elf bag. I've never seen little elf bags. Oh, and look. Look at this. Look at this. It's a Christmas tree cat toy. Stella, look. That's it. You can't have it now. We're going to put it away and we'll have it later, okay? Okay. That's cute. And look at this. Is this a Christmas tree in here also, Stella? You want to look at the bag? Yeah, it's a Christmas tree also. That's very cute. Oh, and look, you guys. You guys got some squeeze-ups. Where did Hydrox get squeeze-ups? Maybe this came out of Hydrox's stocking. I guess, I think Hydrox got squeeze-ups. Isn't that cute, Stella? It says Hydrox. Stella, look how cute that is. And here's another, another elf bag. I think they're all trees. That's good because then the cats don't fight. Yeah, look, it's another tree. I think the, all the inside cats got trees. And the outside cats got squeeze-ups. There's a stocking for Ditto. Ditto got some squeeze-ups too. And here's another tree for Stella. So cute. Thank you so much, Zoa, for these toys and for the treats and for the gift card. You thought of everyone. Thank you so much for all of your thoughtfulness and happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you and Marty. And thank you for the pretty angel. It's so creative. Today is day 21 for the reverse advent calendar for cats. Hello, boo. And today we are filling compartment number 21. And we are filling it with two cans of the wholehearted cat food. This is the masterfully minced ocean fish recipe. And this is what the advent calendar looks like after 20 days have been completed. 
For breakfast today, the cats are trying the Tiki Cat Ahi Tuna. These are small three ounce cans, so I'm opening two of these. So each cat will get half of a can. They're actually 2.8 ounce cans. Let's take a look at the ingredients. They are tuna. That was Simba and Boo fighting. Let's take a look at the ingredients. They are tuna, tuna broth, sunflower seed oil, calcium lactate, tricalcium phosphate, and then we go into vitamins and minerals. So it's a really simple tuna food. Tuna, broth, a little bit of oil, and then vitamins and minerals. This is what the food looks like in the can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the can, put it in a bowl, add a little bit of water to it, and mix it all together, and then that's what the cat's and then that's how the cats are going to be served. Boo, does it meet your approval? Does that meet your approval? Stella, does that meet your approval? Stella, that's okay. This is what it looks like after I put it in this little pot that I use for mixing up the cat's food. And I will be adding water to it. This is what it looks like after I've added about two tablespoons of water. Some of the food absorbs some of the water and it also made a nice gravy. Okay, this is what it looks like on their plates. Are you guys ready to eat? There you go. Bon appetit. There's your breakfast. Is Splash going to eat it? Whenever they try a new food, Splash will smell it and then kind of move away from it. But look, he's eating it. And this is what Hydrox is getting for breakfast today. He's getting a can of the wholehearted tuna recipe flaked in gravy because there were only two cans of the ahi tuna in the variety pack. So uh, he's gonna get this instead. It's very, very similar to what the inside cat's got. It's about 8.30 a.m. right now and it's about 22 degrees out and Hydrox is in his house. So I'm glad he's in there. He seems to be nice and toasty warm in there. Um, the other night I was watching a live stream and he was taking like the longest bath He was just bathing and bathing and bathing and bathing So to me that would mean he is nice and toasty warm in there because outside everything was frozen Like any liquid outside was freezing so fast, but he was in there Just washing away and now he's just hanging out looking out the window Hopefully when the Sun comes up a little higher, it'll start to warm up his area I think that'll be in probably maybe like another hour or so. Uh, the snowman thermometer says it's about 35 right there, uh, but the other temperature sensors in other parts of the yard say it's like around 22, so. It is 2.30 p.m. and I just got home and I was walking in the front steps. I actually came in the front door, then I went back out to my car because I needed to bring in some bags and on my second uh, trip inside I was like I hear a cat and then I look and Hydrox is sitting on the front step near the front door like meowing away and I'm like oh my gosh I guess he's hungry now I did give him breakfast earlier I don't know if he ate it or somebody else ate it 
But I'm gonna go give him another can of food because it's really cold out. There's Boo. Hello, Boo. This is really interesting. So I just went outside to put something in the car and uh, I noticed that I had two bottles of water in the car and I figured I would clean out the car and let me get rid of these bottles of water. So I brought them inside and I just noticed something which is really weird. So this bottle is completely frozen. This bottle was, um, it's frozen like, like sideways. So this bottle was sitting sideways on uh, the front passenger seat and the front passenger seat is like black leather so uh, that's where this was and then this bottle it's not frozen at all like it's nowhere near frozen it's completely liquid and this was uh, upright like this in the like console area between the driver's seat and the passenger seat there's like two cup holders it's a Ford Escape um, so this was sitting up in the console and then this was sideways on the front seat. I mean, they were only, uh, what, maybe like 18 inches apart from each other and one is frozen solid and then the other is completely liquid and I doubt the temperature in the car varied that much, uh, in such uh, a small space. It's not like one was in the front of the car and one was way in the back of the car. I mean, they were both relatively close to each other. So what I'm thinking is um, it has to be something about the water itself that, um, that would make one freeze and one not freeze. It, could it be some kind of um, mineral component in the water? Is it because um, one water has more minerals in it than the other water? Uh, is it because maybe there's a different pH to the water? Uh, could it be something else that's in the water? I don't know. And then I was thinking, well, maybe one uh, was in an area that got more sun and maybe another was in an area that was only shade. But that was not the case either because this being on the passenger seat would have gotten sun and then this being in on the console would have gotten the same amount of sun. It's not like one was on the floor, so it's just really weird. Simba wants some sardines, but I just wanted to mention that I just did some research that says that uh, the more minerals that are in water, the lower the freezing point. So if you wanna lower the freezing point of water, uh, if you add certain minerals to it, it will actually do that. And um, you know, Evian is a water it has a lot of minerals in it. It probably has more minerals in it than the crystal geyser water. So that would explain why it has a lower freezing point than the crystal geyser water. Mm. Sim says he doesn't care. He just wants a sardine. Okay, Simba. Look where Splash is. He was laying on the bed. I gave him some sardines on the bed, which was probably a mistake. But I'll just clean that up right when he's done. I was surprised that he actually let me put the sardines right next to him because a lot of times he'll just run under the bed. But he did not do that. He's been letting me pet him quite a bit more recently, which is good. Looks like he ate everything. It's 6.45 p.m. And I was looking for Stella. I said, where's Stella? Stella was laying on the bed like she was a human. Stella, you're a lady. You're laying on the bed like a real lady. I turned the light off and there's just the salt lamp on across the room. Stella went and she laid back down. See how she's using the pillows? She's laying on the bed like she's a person. It is 9.30 p.m. and the automatic feeder just went off. And the same thing happened today. So like when the feeder goes off, the cats hear it and then they all run to the feeder and then they freak each other out because I don't know what they think, but that's what they end up doing. They end up freaking each other out and then they all run in opposite directions except for Boo because he's, 
getting smart and now all the cats run in opposite directions and then Boo just kind of goes straight for this tray and uh, he starts eating so then Splash came up to me and he was crying so then what I did was I went up to the tray and I kind of just moved the food to the corners in which case at which point Stella came over and she started eating and Splash and Simba are still spooked out so they have to come back and it's not the fact that it's a metal tray. The metal is not spooking them out. What's spooking them out is the fact that they're spooking each other out. When, like, when they hear the feeder go off and they rush to it, that's when they spook each other out. They think something's going on. In order to get Splash to eat his crunchies, I had to put the little crunchy plates on the tray. Now he's eating his crunchies. But in order for... Boo and Stella not to eat them. I had to pick up Boo and put him in his room. And I had to pick up Stella and put her in my room. And that's Boo. That's Boo trying to bang his door down. He's crying too. It's about midnight. Look at Stella. Stella's hanging out under the Christmas tree. Hello, Stella. Stella, you're so pretty under the tree. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.